I'll read your legends. Welcome to a follow-up and a reaction to another dinosaur game. Yes, I know. Before we knew it, another dinosaur game came around the corner. In fact, we actually saw this during GamesCon, I think it was. Come on, actually, the future games show, but you get the point. Um, and I think I was waiting for Jurassic World Evolution 2 news, and then this popped up. I was like, hold on a minute. What, what's going on here? Also, you might be able to hear my voice is even more dead than last time. But we're going to persevere because we need to, don't we? But before we uh, get into the new game, I wanted to clear up a few things with the one I covered last time, which was The Lost Wild, which you can see in front of me. So basically, uh, it looked really good. Uh, the polish on it was absolutely insane. And a lot of people, or at least I saw one person comment, uh, saying that it seems a bit too good to be true. And when something's too, too good to be true, it's normally not. So I thought, you know what, let's have a look. So I went on the website, uh, this is what you see right before you, Great Ape Games, saying that uh, Great Ape Games is a tribe of humans. Tight knit team, they, they're working in Brighton. Um, they sort of discuss a little bit about what the Lost Wild is. Uh, that being a, an immersive and cinematic dinosaur game that captures the reverence and terror of nature's most magnificent animals. Our dinosaurs go well beyond simple monster mechanics. With built-in self-preservation and reactive systematic AI behavior. Can we not just make a dinosaur game without it having new, reactive, systematic AI behavior? And all these buzzwords like left for dead but with dinosaurs, dino crisis, spiritual successor. I'm sick of it. <laughs> like, let the game speak for itself. Basically, that's it. I've lived through Mesozoica, all these games since 2015. Uh, luckily, I wasn't there for the Stomping Lands, but I've seen them all, basically. And they love these buzzwords. They send out these press packs to uh, Lad Bible and all this jazz. So they go, remember Dino Crisis? This is the new one. And it's like, oh, for God's sake, man. I'm sick of it. Just make a good game. I think the one that we're going to look at, Instinction, actually does have the buzzword of the next Dino Crisis. Crisis. Uh, and we remember we see Mesozoica and Prehistoric Kingdom were all supposed to be the spiritual successor to Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Sorry if I come off a little bit um, jaded, but that's what happens when you lose a lot of money to dinosaur scam games. The main reason why we're talking about Lost Wild, first of all, is because I had a look. They're actually hiring people. And at the bottom, I saw this. Epic Mega Grants Recipient. And when you click on Great Ape Games, they don't tell you their previous releases. So, as far as I'm aware, they don't have any. For instance, uh, this is their Instagram, and it literally just shows um, a couple of things like the Walking with Dinosaurs tour, uh, some concept art, uh, I assume Brighton. Yeah! So, here is something from 2018. So, that's three years ago, showing an AI test, I think, of a stegosaur, which is actually what we see on their website. It looks like a similar stegosaur model. Um, is what they sort of end up having, but hey, just shows that they did actually, and um, they were working on something dinosaur related from 2018. Timur, man, um, Great Ape Games, Jonas, aha. Uh -huh. That's interesting. So they're basing their stegosaur model on actual research, and this is it. Interesting. Okay, again in 2018. So, I mean, I guess it shows that they're trying to be paleontologically accurate. I don't know if this has anything to do with, you know, the game they ended up going with, but hey ho, it's something. Now, we didn't end up seeing this stegosaur in the trailer, but um, it is on the website. If we go back to here, we go visit their site, and this opens up the actual uh, The Lost Wild site. And here you see you know, maybe a slightly updated stegosaur model from what we just saw. It seems like the same sort of environment as well, uh, going down a kayak. So there is a little bit of me that's um, wondering, okay, they're just using sets and models that they've had for multiple years and are just making a game out of it. Which led me to thinking, how can someone who maybe have made one dinosaur model and made one environment make a trailer so good as we saw in the last video? Well, that's where the epic grant comes into it. So I had a look at what the uh, epic mega grants were 
And here we go, we get a little bit of a rundown. Uh, surpassed $60 million in total financial support, accelerating the work of nearly 1,000 talented teams and individuals across the planet. If we do $60 million, let's say everyone on average got the same amount, they probably didn't, uh, divided by 1,000, you know, that is still $60,000 given to possibly Great Ape Games to make a really good trailer. Now, 60,000, I don't know if that's really enough to make a full like fully fledged AAA looking game. <laughs> But they made something that looked really good and was very polished. Here we go, Great Ape, and there they are, Great Ape Games Limited. And if we go on this website, you scroll down, it tells you a little bit more about the game, about being a first person survival horror game, um, and shows you a little bit more. Um, so the Stegosaur's there, being in a Jeep with the Allosaur looking on the outside. I feel like I've seen this shot so many times. Oh, when it's came to dinosaur games, it's it's crazy. So at least in some part, there is legitimacy to this game. Now I'm not gonna go out of my way and you know say this is something you need to really look forward to. If it ends up coming out the way you know it's supposed to, or the way it looks here, it will be a very interesting game, and I would love to play it. But as we've seen with any dinosaur game, there is always multiple levels of controversy, and I honestly can't even as amazing as it looks, just put those to a side and just be excited for it. It's unfortunate because I would really love to, but at the same time, I've got this little warning in my head like, it's too good to be true. Let's have a look at Instinction, a game a bit like this one that was able to just sort of fly under my radar, was promoted at an actual, you know, gaming convention. Uh, so let's have a look at Instinction's new trailer. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, okay, dinosaur walking around, little lizard. Right, bats. Some very slow flying bats, okay. Again, environment, like the other one, looks gorgeous. An overgrown Aztec I temp. Wish I hadn't come here for this. Another female protagonist. Okay. Sukumimus that you ha I found them. What? Is this Tomb Raider? Dinosaur edition. What? A Smilodon? And a Lyplorodon? And a Carnotaurus? Okay, so non-feathered raptors, right, okay. Uh, and with the claws. After all this death. Oh, that is, that looks so like the Robert Muldoon clever girl scene. If you have the chance to do it all again. <laughs> okay. And it's rounded on. What would you? have done. <coughs> what did I just watch? Oh my god. What 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 was that? Guys, what hold on. I I mean I'm, I'll watch it without the volume. Okay, so we have this I mean the game looks beautiful. Okay, we cannot comment there. Um I, but I am really just I uh, dumbfounded. Crestfallen. So you have like a female protagonist saying, if you could do it differently, what would you do? Uh, and then you've got this like tribal look to it, but then you've got like a, a modern machine gun. I don't even know what that gun is. You've got Aztec gold, and this is obviously the, the coin that she puts in to open, you know, a, a facility. And you've got hey. eggs, so dinosaurs out in the wild reproducing. I'd assume they're probably raptor eggs. You've got a cave painting of humans and dinosaurs coexisting. So a place that's been cut off from the rest of the world where dinosaurs still exist sort of thing. A bit like with God, the Godzilla, you got the in-between uh, thing like that. And then you got some like Plurodon, Chronosaur, swimming about, and then a Smilodon, because why not? Uh, a Carnotaurus, and then this is so strange and it, it's, 
exactly the reason why I was confused with Death Ground. That we have raptors without feathers and with the wrong ways the claws. Like Jim Kirkland said, and uh, you know, the raptors, you know, the bone fossils aren't supposed to curl that way. That's Jurassic Park. Um, and I think anybody now who makes dinosaurs or at least raptors that aren't feathered and also have claws that bend the wrong way are doing it because it's what's popular and they know that's what the general public likes. So already I'm seeing the audience for this and it's just the, the general go, you know, what have you, the general um, gaming market of people who think that dinosaurs look like this. It is a shame to see, you know, a new game coming out that ha represents raptors like this. And then we've got, I'm waiting for the raptor to come out and go. <laughs> I mean, we can't really see the color of the girl's hair here. And maybe we can later, but I'd hazard a guess it's red. And that would just be another callback to Dino Crisis. I have no idea why we have a Lyplorodon, how that existed in a cave where we have a Smalodon randomly in a rainforest. And this bit here, sorry, I'm having a lozenge because my throat is really bad, but we're doing it, we're going forward. Don't worry, I'll probably recover in a couple of days, it'll be all right. Um, but then we have raptors running towards the character. I don't even know what this shot is. In fact, I kind of want to slow this down frame by frame and just see what, what happens here. No idea. No idea what happens there. And then another shot of the character and what seems to be a Tupuxera or some some sort of Pteranodon while she's having a look into a volcano. I want to type it out. I want to type it out to see if like all together, if I read it, if it makes any sense. The thing is, I have been talking to the developers on Twitter and they've been lovely. Um, sorry if I'm being slightly negative of the game, but hey, if it's a good game, Prove me wrong. Make it so I can look back at this video and go, Beavis, what were you thinking? Of course it's this thing. Of course the Lyplorodon's there for a reason. And not because, hey, we have Lyplorodon, and hey, we have Tyranodons, and hey, we have a Smilodon. Okay, for a start, the Sukumimus did not respond at all to bullets and being shot, which just tells me that they were just having a Sukumimus run its walking animation and then uh, jump quickly in game and just start shooting at it just for the scene. So that uh, obviously has nothing to do with the story or the final game. I can kind of buy the other game more with its premise, with a facility. This is just... And just shoot... She's shooting... Why? Why is she shooting dinosaurs for no reason? They're not attacking her. Oh god, I don't even know. Sorry, my voice is terrible. But why? Why? Okay, she has a sniper rifle now. Oh my god. I can see it was a concept art. It was like, we'll have the, the lovely red of the lava, and then the cool blue of the sky, and then this, you know, this pteranodon lit up from behind, and it looks gorgeous. And she's not even that fussed. She's not even looking at like, eh. There's definitely like things that were concept art. Like that was, that was like, oh, that looks great. We'll have bats flying. We've got establishing shots of the environment. It's just throwing me with this Aztec uh, realm. Okay, she came here because she heard stories, but why was she so well equipped? Uh, or she knew somebody who was stationed there or went down the crapper because she's heard stories and she wants to find out the truth. Okay, this looks like we've got a hole in the roof that they've been dropping cattle down. So maybe these tribal people have been keeping dinosaurs alive in a cavern uh, or something like that. Maybe this is a different world that stretches on for, you know, ages untouched for millennia almost. And yet these people have been living in harmony with the dinosaurs and have been keeping them alive almost in a religious way or beliefs, you know, something like that. Because I don't know what that head is, but it definitely looks like something was just dropped in here and fed to the dinosaurs. Like this shot here, and and the Lyplorodon shot, the Kronosaur, the Plesiosaur, whatever you want to call it, it just, it has no bearing on the story. We've got three shots in quick succession that show, hey guys, we have Lyplorodon, we have Aquatics. Hey guys, we have Cenozoics. Hey guys, we have Acarnotaurus. But why? Maybe I'm being way too critical on it, but it's not making any sense in the story. And I get what the, the developers might be trying to do, and that's build up hype. 
build up we have Aquatics, build up we have Cenozoics, build up the mystery. But in the end, you have a gorgeous looking trailer, but I have no clue what this is about, apart from it being a first person shooter that you're trying to discover mystery. I'll play it, definitely. If this comes out, I'll play it, depending on the, you know, I mean, I'll have, I have to kind of play it. But as a regular audience, a regular gamer, um, depending on the price, like, I don't know. If, I, I would definitely hold off on it until reviews come out. <laughs> Maybe I'm being way too harsh. I'm sorry, Instinction, you're probably watching this. Um, but... I mean, maybe you get my confusion. All I can say is it looks really good. Obviously, it's it's got the backing to be at GamesCon because I don't think, you know, anybody can just show games at GameCon for without no evidence of, you know, career or established work or anything like that. Um, I mean, obviously, this is in pre-alpha, everything like that. So this is all subject to change. Um, and it's just a trailer. There's no gameplay. I, I wouldn't even be surprised if this wasn't gameplay. It was just pre-rendered stuff. It's a shame. It really is. Because if it wasn't for the dinosaur game industry being the way that it is, like Death Ground, I mean, I, I, I wish I and I hope Death Ground is good because the models weren't great, the animations weren't great, but the concept was good, the gameplay could be good. And as far as fully-fledged games that have came out, it's literally just Jurassic World Evolution. Frontier is the only one that has put out a fully completed game and DLC for it. And apart from that, all we've got is early access games. Uh, you know what I mean? Apart from the indie games that come out here and there that are great laugh anyway in their own right. And I'll love... I'll, and I'm never going to stop somebody's creativity or passion projects or anything like that. I think, unfortunately, I just have to look at this and think, that's a cool trailer, and just leave it at that. Because I can't, I don't want to get hyped for a disappointment, because it's happened so many times. If it was a game that was out right now, I'd, of course I'd definitely play it, because I want to find out the mystery. I want to find out why we have a smile on. You know, we, we, and then we think about games in the past, like... Um, the Hunted, whatever it was, you know, the one for PS3, which was, it's a terrible game, absolutely terrible, but it's a joy to play because it's one of those where you can just switch off your brain, brain and just shoot dinosaurs. And this coming so soon after I reviewed or had seen the other trailer for the other game, The Wilds or whatever it was, Lost Wilds, um, it, it, it does just ring alarm bells that maybe this is another game that's going to be tried to come out for next year to piggyback off, you know, the final Jurassic World film. I've seen it 2015 with the first one. I've seen it in 2018 with Fallen Kingdom. These games, they try to get out and they try to get on the hype. Um, and really, I just want them to do their own thing. I really do. And hopefully they are. I'm not saying that, you know, that's exactly what they're doing, but I can see, you know, why they would try to. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. You guys will probably have your own... I mean, of course you'll have your own views. You're entitled to your own views. Maybe you're super hyped for it and you want to see exactly how all these threads tie together and you'll buy anything dinosaurs uh, like me. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and um, I'll see you in the next video where my throat will probably be back to normal and it won't sound so weird. Bye-bye. <laughs>